Hello, students. Good evening. Hello, everyone. Hi. Hi, good evening. Hello. Good Hi, evening. good evening. How are you? Fine, teacher. And you? Excellent. Thanks for asking. You know, very good. Actually, you know, very happy because it's a great night. Weekend is coming. And also because we have had a great week of last week, a good time. And the most important, a week in which we could learn English and practice. That's something very, very positive that we can summarize. To have a time to practice and improve English because English is a very active you know, language and that we have to practice all the time, wherever we are with our you know, workmates, with people around us, with the different means like television, music and everything. For example, when I, you know, when I come home, sometimes had a free time, I watch television, like serious in English, and that was that's good because I, I entertain, uh, time, and also I have fun too. It's it's something nice. So welcome to everyone, and we are going to uh, practice today. And as I always ask, and uh, I want to know what we started yesterday who wants to remember me what we did yesterday in the class we study about quantifiers again thank you The mail with my family. Okay, an email about my family. Yes, I, I love that activity because we had a time to think about what we do and we talk about, you know, personal things about our family. I really like this um, conversation we have with the groups. What else we did? Something else. Um, we read an article and we answer the question about it. Okay, I really love that. I can see that most of us, we um, know about what we studied. And this is good because sometimes happened that we had a class the next day when we start a, to a, a different topic or the same topic or a new topic, we are like, I forgot about what we did. So we have uh, to you know, to be very active in a way to um, socialize English. And uh, it's very important to make the difference about what we do. So today we're going to continue uh, with our class because we have different things. And don't forget that the last class is this coming Monday. Uh, so the last class is this coming Monday and we conclude this level and you will be ready for the next level. So, Okay. All right, so let's see here. <laughs> we're going to check something right now. Okay, so we're going to talk always uh, related to family, related to um, different things, and uh, because that's the main topic, changing family. And we will have a listening exercise today. And um, because we, at this level, we had to, you know, work at just different skills, listening, reading, writing, and speaking. The communication skills is important. So for this, and um, we could see this uh, video conference. So the question is, are you ready? Yes. Yeah. Okay, yes. let's, let's do it. All right, so we have the following activity. I'm going to share the link, and but I need, 
to do something. Just give me one second, because I need to share uh, um, I need to share a link. So if you allow me one moment, I can share it with you this link. Look at the chat. Look at the chat, everyone. And also, you will do the following thing. You will listen the following conversation. And you will answer the following questions. I need you to help me with that. The questions we have here is, where does this news program take place? This is the question number one. Number two, girl, Elizabeth celebrate this holiday with her family? Next one, what does Johnny and his family eat on this day? As Stephen feels that Christmas is a time when people, so you had to listen and respond. The final girl says that the best things about Christmas is. So I want you to listen the following conversation because we're talking about family. And the topic is the family and, um, and traditions. So that's what we had to do. Are you ready? Okay, so I will give you right now a couple of minutes to read and listen well this uh, conversation and you will help me to um, respond according to what you listen. All right? Yes? All right, yeah. let's try.
Okay, uh, let me know when you finished this exercise. You say finished. Not yet. I am finished. Okay, thank you so much. Someone else is ready to? Someone else? And also, don't forget to have the camera on. It's important. Finish. Thank you. Okay, so let's see what happened here. And you can help me to uh, respond the following um, questions or at least uh, part of the statements. The uh, question is, was easy or difficult the conversation to you? Was easy or difficult to understand? Difficult. It was difficult. Uh, la escuché tres veces para entender. Yeah, it's because it's, a, it's an, yeah, we could say it's a normal conversation, right? When people speak fast, depending on what they are, there are a lot of people who speak English very fast. And um, when you practice uh, for, you know, one time, two times, uh, three times, you get familiar with the tone of voice, with the speed, with the pronunciation, with the vocabulary. So it's okay. So don't feel... Um, worry about that because you had to be adapted, okay, to this one. All right, so we have the first one. Number one, what do you think is the possible answer here? Number one. It is brought um, at shopping center in the city mall. Oh, okay. Yeah, at a shopping, okay, in a shopping center. Or we could say a mall, yes. It's interesting, right? Okay. Number two. What about the number two? So it says, you know. They visit close relatives. Mm -hmm. uh, visit some close relatives, some family, right? Okay. Um, that's good. And especially when they are talking about grandparents. Yes. Thank you. Number three, um, what does, you know, Johnny and his family eat on holiday, on, on this day? It was because we're, they are talking about a celebration, a holiday. What do you remember? Turkey. turkey. Okay, great. Do you like turkey? Yeah. Um, okay. In Christmas, do you eat turkey? Hello? Yes. Yes, that's correct. It's delicious. I love that one. Next one, number four. And what about the number four? Help me with this. 
it's a good time, you know, holiday, Christmas. Number four, what do you think? Hello? Number four. Think of order without waiting for a gift in return. Okay. Yeah, it's because you give something and you don't have to expect that the person gives you back something like, eh, ya, me, ya te di, tienes que darme un regalo. No, it's not the way. You give without a personal intention, just to give love and transmit happiness. And the last one, uh, what do you think about the last one? Yes, what do you think about the last one? What do you think about the last statement? Teacher. Yes. En la cuatro es lo que el niño dice en secreto, ¿verdad? Um, the, yeah, he feels that Christmas is a time when people, so he says, he thinks, he expresses. And the last, what is the last one? And I agree with this person. What is the last one? Is having vacation. The last one is having vacation from school. Because... Fair enough from school, it's similar to uh, vacation. Uh, having vacation. Having vacation. Yeah, having vacation, you know, it's, it's well, actually, um, well, it's getting off from school. Get off, mm. is, yeah, having vacation. So that okay. means that, you know, no school, you stay home, you have fun, it's a good time. And do you enjoy Christmas? Yes, I do. Yeah. So do I. Let's go to the following uh, conversation. I will share again the link in this moment. Look at the chat and I will share the second link. And this is about talking about home, right? So look at this one. The, the first one, the person wants to live with a homestay home family because he can. How many children does the homestay family have? And the family has some cats, animals, right? You can see the names of the animals here. And also, uh, Reynolds is slept on the coach because he, so you can see the following questions here. Do you, do you see the link? Yes. Okay, yeah. you can see the word homestay. Um, it's, it's a very interesting. Do you know what is the meaning about homestay in English? Well, first, most of the time, you when we talk about homestay, it's like a vacation uh, or other period abroad, Spain is staying in the home of a local family. Like, um, for example, there are some people who stay in their family's home, so they have a good time there. Uh, how many children does the homestay family have? Right? So I want you to listen carefully, listen to the conversation, and then we socialize the answers. Are you ready? Okay, let's listen.
Are you ready? Okay, are you ready now or not yet? I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay, what about this conversation? Was it uh, easy or difficult? What about this? Um... Okay, so could be, you know, it's practice. So my recommendation is like, try because it's important to practice and you get more experienced. Okay, so it was it was like a very interesting conversation because we talk about, you know, when we have a good time with our family, we enjoy um, a great companionship and also the way how they talk. It's, it's a very interesting conversation. Okay, so let's try to check this following statement here. Then we see the number one. What is the number one? What do what do you think could be the answer for the first one? Number one. What do you think? James wants to live with a homestay family because he can learn more of the language. Yes, exactly. So the goal is to to learn about a language, right? Um, and a culture is important to know about the cultures, about a language, about the vocabulary. And that happens even though with our language, for example, you go to other countries like Puerto Rico, and um, you speak Spanish, they speak Spanish, but they use different vocabulary. We speak Spanish, they speak Spanish, and we have different vocabulary. So it's about learning about a culture, and that's good. Number two, what do you have for number two? A volunteer for this one. It's still, it's still thing. Well, let's see. Your Spartan have. 13 kids. 13 kids. Okay. Wow. Is this a surprise? Yeah, it's a lot of kids, right? Okay. Yeah. Many kids. Incredible. It's, yeah, a lot of kids. Okay, and that's okay. Okay, so the next one is... Number three. Rabbit. Yes? Rabbit. And a rabbit. Rabbit. Okay. 
family and, and uh, different uh, animals uh, very attractive animals do you like rabbits no <laughs> no no i like rabbits they are adorable small rabbits are adorable but but i remember what i remember is that I, when I was a kid, I used to have a rabbit, and it, and it was a a very a strong character. Those those animals had a strong character. The rabbits, I remember that. But they are they are I don't know. And next one, number four. Play video games at night. Mm, and all, but about the personality. He's outgoing and friendly. Okay. Yes. It's a very active person. It's a very friendly, you know, like to talk, interact with others. So it's a great, they have a great experience. Yeah. It's a great, great experience. And the last, but not the least. What is that? Randall is sleeping on the couch because he has played video games all night. Okay. Okay. All right. I understand that. And do you like video games? Yes. No. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, yes. Oh, interesting. You like video games. And by 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 the way, so. Okay, I like video games, but I don't have time to play, and I don't play for a long time. Maybe because I have some other priorities than playing video games, but I they are good. It's part of the entertainment. Okay, so, well, we see that. Okay, so my recommendation is always uh, practice because it's important to practice English, right? Okay, we have uh, the following article. We have a reading an interesting article. And in this case, what we had to do is that we had to read this a paragraph. Look at this. I want you to, if you could do me a huge, a big favor to, to take a picture to this exercise and share. Oh, well, you can share it in the, in WhatsApp. I don't know if you could do that. Yes, yes, yes. Can you share? in the WhatsApp group. And also this one. What I want you to do is to um, read the article and after reading the article, you will answer the following questions. Okay, let's read it and then we will answer the following questions about the article.
Okay, so we will check this uh, important reading. It's uh, very interesting, especially when we talk about um, the summer solstice. Yeah, especially because there isn't a specific time. We're talking about the June 21st to the 22nd is the summer solstice for the Northern Hemisphere. So you see the word hemisphere. The hemisphere, the solstice in Latin means sun is standing still. Well, it's a, a good detail about that. The question is, have you heard about the summer sol solstice? Did, did you have you heard about this one? Have you listened about this summer solstice? And it's because we talk about a longer day of the year. So this day takes longer in comparison to other days. That's why it's summer solstice. And they said that there are many ancient cultures, they like enjoy uh, that or celebrated that day because it was very long in comparison to others. And, um, and nowadays, many places around the world have parades, uh, celebration, because it's a great day for them, uh, the solstice. Well, it, you know, it's a different culture. Well, we don't have this one in El Salvador, but in other countries, they do. And especially because the, the in, on December 21st or 22nd, and in the Southern Hemisphere, is in June 21st or 22nd. So we, we, we can see the places, right? The, the two places, the Southern and the Southern Hemisphere, the winter solstice in his blade uh, meets summer night dream. Also, you can see that in the articles mentioned that William Shakespeare, you know, he talked about that. Your dream on this night will come to pass. It's okay. Have a great dreams. Have great dreams on that day because they are longer. Well, so let's see. You can help me to respond the following questions about this. One. Number one, and what about the number one? What do you think could be the answer for the first one? Number one. What do you think? True. Yes, it's true. True. Yeah, I mean the sun stayed right for a long time. Yes, number two. False. Yes, false. it is false. That's correct. Number three. True. 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 Okay, number three is true. Okay. true. Let's see. Um, yes. Number four. Four. False. False. And number four is false. No one celebrates. Yeah, there are cultures that they celebrate it with parades, with mm -hmm. parties, with celebration. It's a huge party. So we don't celebrate this. And the last one, the last but not the least, what do you have about this one? True. Yes. So, dream big. Yes, that's interesting. And also, this is one of the surprises about our nature. So it's very interesting. Well, so let's continue. Look at this. Look at these details. We have a kind of conversation. So it's an article. Read the title of the article, then check the questions. Do you think the article will answer and why do women work outside the home? And what happens when both parents work? We're talking about families. The topic is the changing family. Help me to read the following article. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes. Okay, excellent. Let's try. It says, 
American families are changing. One important change is that most married women now work outside the home. What happens when both parents work? Read about the Morales family. Judy and Steve Morales have three children. Josh 12, then nine, and Emily six. Steve is a computer programmer. This year, Judy is working again as a hospital administrator. The family needs the money and Judy likes her job. Everything is going well, but there are also some problems. Now that Judy is working, Steve has to help her family or perhaps to help her more with the housework and he doesn't enjoy it. Look at the detail. Judy loves her work, but she feels too tired and busy. She also worries about the children. Judy has to work on Saturdays, so Steve and Judy don't have a lot of free time. Look at that. Emily is having a great time in her after school program. When Judy comes to pick her up, she doesn't want to leave. And the last, Josh is enjoying his new freedom after school. He's playing his music louder and spending more time on the phone. He's also doing a few household chores. Look at this one. It sounds very interesting. This article. Okay, we're going to read this article and we are going to read the article and answer the following questions. Write the names of the family member. Example, which children are benefiting from Judy working? Which child is not benefiting from Judy working? Which family member is enjoying more freedom? Which family members are doing more housework? And which family members feel too busy? Okay, I want you to read the article again. If you have questions, you can ask questions and I can help you. And we are going to answer the following questions related to this article. Don't forget to ask questions if you need. So you can work with this one right now. Let's do it. Okay, let's do something. Meanwhile, you work in this activity, I will check the attendant list. Okay, you listen your name and you say present. Just uh, allow me one moment to look for the list.
Okay, let's check here. Uh -huh. And we call to see. And I say that Janice? Present. Thank you. Uh, Ana Ruth Perez? Present. Uh, Carlos Ernesto Flores? David Alejandro Rodriguez? Here. David Rafael Ramos? Present. Diana Beatriz Reyes? Diana? Eh, Diana Cristabel Meléndez? Present. Eric Javier Ventura? No, yo no. Teacher, aquí estoy, Diana Beatriz Reyes, es que se me trajo el teléfono. Ok, thank you. <laughs> Eric. Present. Ok. Uh, Fiorella Alejandra Crispin. Fiorella. Gerardo José de Paz. Gerardo. I'm here. Henry Alejandro Flores. Present. Eh, Ingrid Magdalena Castellanos. Present, teacher. Ok. Jorge Francisco López. Jorge, eh, Juana Margarita Sea. Present, teacher. Eh, Catherine Suleima Poca Sangre. Present. Eh, Catherine Nicole Salazar. Present, teacher. Thank you. Katy Jordana Dos Cruces. Present, teacher. Laura Alicet Peña. Present, teacher. Thank you. Um, Lorena Araceli Hernandez. Lorena. Eh, Mirna Yasmin Portillo. Present. Eh, Oscar Otoniel Cruz. Oscar. Eh, Reina Yael Arevalo. Reina. Eh, Roberto Carlos Alfaro. Here. Sebastiana Guadalupe Aguilar. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Tatiana Abigail Rodríguez. Tatiana. Eh, Úrsula Adriana Burgos. Wendy Lisette Hernandez. Present. Thank you. Great. Okay, congratulations. Well, let's socialize the answers together because of the time, so you can help me to check. So we were saying that now Judy is working and Steve has to help her more with the housework and he doesn't enjoy it because she works. So, but Judy loves her work, but she feels too tired and busy. And she also worries about the children and Judy has to work on Saturdays. So Steve and Judy don't have a lot of free time together. That is a difficult situation. Emily is having a great time in her after school program. When Judy comes to pick her up, she doesn't want to leave. And Josh is enjoying his new freedom after school and he's playing his music louder and he is spending uh, and is spending more time on the phone. And he's also doing a few housework short. You know, it's um, something very valuable about this conversation or this article. So let's um, socialize these American families. Let's see, what can we see here? Mm -hmm. Are you ready to check the answers? Yes, ready. 
Yes, I'm ready. Okay, you need to help me. Let's see. Uh, we're gonna move this over here. Okay, number one, a volunteer. Emily and Josh. 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 Ah, okay, so both of them are benefiting, right? Because of Judy's work. Okay, that's good. It's interesting to know that. Number two, Kyle is not benefiting from Judy working. Ben, ben. 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 Okay. So so bad <laughs> okay next los morales okay let's see uh which family um member is enjoying more freedom josh josh yes josh is enjoying more freedom okay they have more time no parental control no parents monitoring what he's doing, so maybe his freedom. That's it's okay for him. Next, uh, which family members are doing um, more housework? Steve, Josh, and Josh. And Josh. Well, he says that he is playing a musical instrument and he's spending more time on the phone, and he's also doing a few housework short. So, I mean, he doesn't have like a huge responsibility, but he, you know, he does a few household chores. Okay. But what I like about the article is that, uh, for example, it says that now Steve, uh, he doesn't enjoy the cleaning the house, uh, doing things at home. They don't like it. Mm. And the last one, which family member feels too busy? Judy. Judy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's busy all the time because of her job is very demanding. What problems are Steve and Judy having according to this article? What problems are Steve and Judy having? Because Judy and Steve don't have free time together. Okay, that's interesting. And also they don't enjoy, it. for example, Steve doesn't enjoy the, you know, what he does. Yes. And which do you think is the most serious? And which do you think is the most serious? Both cases could be, maybe. And the last question is, um, what solutions could happen? What solutions do you think we can apply in this situation? What is that? So what um, recommendation or offer can you give? Mm -hmm. About the problem. Yes. Any suggestion? Any recommendation about this problem? No? No idea? No teacher. No teacher. Okay, it's complicated because they have to work. They need to work. And um, the best solution could be that they change the job because she's busy and he's doing some, some chores at home. 
one recommendation could be that they that she changes her job for a, a flexible schedule or a flexible job and also that she can stay more time with her family and also they can have a balance about the time and being together it's something that could happen okay students we are about to conclude we missed the last class uh, this coming monday so it's the last class and i hope to see you and don't forget to practice and also English because it's important. We will be practicing listening because listening is important. So we will be working with listening skills. Okay, so by any chance, we're going to be here in the chat. So if you have questions or doubts, you can chat in the group, okay? So good night to everyone and also have a beautiful weekend. Good night. Thank you, teacher, good night. Good night. Thank you, you too, bye-bye. Thank you.